So the other day I bought this Polaroid SX70, uh, it's an original one. Um, I bought it off eBay for £89, which is pretty good considering the Impossible Project sold them, obviously refurbished and all that stuff, for like 300 and something odd quid. Um, so I thought that was pretty good. Um, it did say in the description that the, the focus ring was stuck and wouldn't move around. Um, which was true. So I thought, usually I'm pretty good at sort of, I don't know, fixing cameras and stuff like that. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get this and uh, I'm going to fix it <laughs> and maybe it will have, have a better value or I can keep it and use it. Um, but yeah, the focus ring was literally, would not move at all. And I looked up on the internet and I searched and searched for ages and I just, I could not get it unstuck and I couldn't find a way to get it unstuck um, and also I really didn't want to damage the camera um, but I managed to get it unstuck and so here's what I did and hopefully it will help some of you people out there um, basically it starts off like that you just this you can just prise off with two fingers at the same time at the bottom yep, and it comes off straight it's quite easy um, but you do have to be really, really careful with this piece because it is made of plastic and it will snap. And it looks like it already has. It was not wasn't me, but it looks like it has already. The corners already come off. Um, anyway, and then so there's this um, really tiny cog. Basically, I don't know if you can see it. That really tiny cog, and it sits in there just between the wheel and the lens. Um, the lens has got cogs on it. And so it sits in there, and when you spin the wheel, it spins this this little cog, which spins the lens. Uh, I took that off because I needed to get my fingers in there to, in order to twist the lens. But I couldn't do it, because it was stuck fast. Um, I just could not get my fingers, there's no space to get your fingers in there. Um, so what, what I did in the end today, which worked, I was very, very scared of doing it, but I got long nose pliers, and I literally stuck it in there and just grabbed it and twist the lens round twist it round to the left if you're looking at it because it was stuck on infinity um, which was alright, you could take photos at infinity but I didn't really want to do that, I want to focus on you know, I want to do portraits and stuff like that so um, so that eventually came off and I was very scared of damaging it but I didn't damage it so that's good and now it comes off nice and easily and also what I did the problem was was that it basically just got the, the threads because it's threaded like a screw basically basically you won't be able to see it but it's got threads in it like a screw and I think they were basically just jammed together um, so the whole lens comes off and you can clean in behind the other behind this lens you can clean that lens which is good Good to know. Um, what I then did was I got my cooking oil and with the lid of the cooking oil I just ran my finger around the lid of my cooking oil and then which gave me like just some oil on my finger and very carefully without touching the lens I got this oil on my finger and just ran it around the rim of the of the threads to lubricate it so that it goes on and spins around. Um, that actually worked really really well, not surprisingly well but really well and then when you put it back on be careful not to cross thread it and all that all that sort of stuff um, I think I'm going to put some more oil on it because it's still it's still really really stiff in there um, but at least it's fixed and then you've got to obviously build it back together with all the parts, don't forget any parts um, so the tools I used were pliers, uh, long nose pliers in order to get into the tiny gaps in between um, and tweezers so yeah I was really scared of using pliers I thought I was going to break the cogs and all that sort of stuff or like slip and scratch the lens or something um, but brute force in this case was the answer just really be careful with this front element here so yeah this video was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be but um, I hope it helps someone out there because I literally couldn't find anything, I couldn't find any solutions on the internet or anything. 
So um, I hope this helps someone. And thanks for watching.